So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to this tutorial. This is not this is not really a tutorial but just a demonstration of what I was telling you that why this thing which we have implemented for the web won't work on a real Android device. And the reason is that because when you deploy your application like this, right? And uh, again, one more thing, yeah. When I was deploying this application, I encountered an error this one which said that promise polyfill is not installed so if you get this error while doing something like uh, ionic code over one android what you need to do is install this package inside your directory itself and just do it one more time and you should be good to go so once you do that and all that building process has happened and all that stuff then you would be able to see your application something like this or maybe this just wait give it a second and it should load up so you can see that we have our application here looks fine but it won't really work and the reason is that if you take a look inside chrome inspector if we inspect this thing you would be able to well these are not really any sort of errors but let's just say when you log in with facebook you would see that we get this dialog box which says open with browser or use um, Chrome as the browser. You can do anything. I can go with the browser. But the moment we do that, you can see that we get this error that authori authorization operation is not supported in this environment. And the reason is that because Firebase requires the location dot protocol to be HTTP, HTTPS or Chrome extension or whatever with a few methods which we have right here like uh, sign in with pop-up and uh, a couple of more I guess so you can see even though this authentication process is going smoothly behind the scenes Firebase has already declared that it would not work anyhow on this file protocol so this is the reason you need to have uh, the plugins installed on your actual um, application which you're gonna deploy on Android or iOS so yeah in the next tutorial we're gonna take a look at how to integrate that for various social media platforms using ionic native plugins so again if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one